Hey, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm going to do a quick video on setting the Z offsets. But before I do that, we'll also set the X and Y offsets as well. To get started with calculating the Z axis and the X and Y axis, the first thing we need to do is log into our web interface and access the terminal. We can access the terminal in Octoprint. In my case, I'm using Mainsail. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Mainsail. And let's take a look. As a first step, I'm just going to go over to Mainsail and then home all my axes. And so I'll let that run. And then once that's finished, I can go ahead and calculate the XY offset for the probe just to make sure I have that correct. What I'm going to do now is add a piece of tape to the bed so I can mark it. So I have a piece, I have a pen, and then I also have some blue painter's tape. So I'm just going to take off a small piece of the blue painter's tape and put that on my bed. I can also use, if I don't have painter's tape, a post-it note. I'm just going to take a small piece of painter's tape and then go ahead over to my printer. So over at my printer, take the painter's tape and put it underneath the probe. So I put that under the probe and then I'm going to take my pen and get ready to mark the spot. In main sale, I'm just going to go ahead and issue the probe command. So this will make the bed probe. And then I'm just going to go down here and mark the bed right where the probe's hitting. And that looks pretty good. So now I have a mark on my tape where the probe is touching. You can also see from my display, the probe is at 117.5 and 117.5. So with those numbers, I can go ahead over and start calculating. Now, if I want to be sure of the um, value or the position, I can just also issue the get position command. I'll issue that. And then I'm looking for this tool headline. And again, it has the same coordinates I saw previously. So now I'm going to take those coordinates and I've added a worksheet to my clipper calibration sheet. Go ahead and type in the probe, where the probe is versus the head. So that's 117.5 for both X and Y. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead back over to the printer and try to move the, move the nozzle to over the point I've marked on the bed. To move the tool head, I'm just using the controls right down here in Clipper, and let me switch view so you can see the front of the printer. Now I'm just going to continue to jog the printer over till I have the print head above my point I marked on the bed. And looks like I'm a little off, so we're going to add. So I need to move back the other way a little bit. I'm going to shine a light underneath the printer just to make sure I'm over point I mark and got to make some more slight adjustments here. And looks like I'm right over the point. So now I'm going to go ahead and issue command for get position. So let's switch back over to main sale. So again, I go up and type in the get position command, go ahead and run it. And I have the tool head at 54x is 54.5, y is 119.5. So with those two numbers, I'm going to switch over here to my calibration spreadsheet. Go ahead and type those in. So I type those in, and then down here at the bottom, my X offset and Y offset are negative 63 and 2. So I've gone ahead and calculated those. Now to add these over to Clipper or to main sale, I'm going to go to machine, Go to my printer.config file. In my printer.config file, I'm going to scroll down till I find the probe. In my case, it's a BL touch. I'm just going to scroll down and then type in the X and Y offset that I calculated over here. I'm just putting those numbers in. And then I'm going to hit save and restart. And once I save and restart, my X and Y offsets are now set. So for this next step, let's go ahead and calculate the Z. To start the Z, we're going to go over 
So again, the printer.config file, and we have to check a couple values. We're going to go back down to the BL touch section, or if you have a probe, that section, either one. And right here, I have a line commented that out with Z offset equal to four. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that. And then I'm going to scroll down to the generated section, and I'm going to take out the offset if it's down here. If you're doing this fresh, you don't need to worry about this calculated section down here. I'm going ahead and getting rid of that because I've previously done this. And like I said, I want to right now the offset set to four. So that way I have enough room to move things around so I can get my printer uh, configured and get the Z offset correct. To get the Z process started, I'm going to again go over my dashboard here in main sale. And you can do the same process in Octoprint or Fluid, whatever their console is or terminal. First thing I want to do is let's go ahead and home everything. And I also probably need to go ahead and remove the tape. As soon as this is done probing, I'll remove the tape I previously put on here so it's not there. So I'm just removing this piece of tape. Hopefully with that hit my probe. There we go. And we're going to start this by sending the command probe calibrate. So this should move the nozzle over to where the probe is located. So it should home first and then move the nozzle. As you can see from my screen, I now have the manual probe uh, numbers up here. And I can go ahead and start moving things around. Now, in my case, I have a feeler gauge, so I'm going to use the feeler gauge. And I'll put a link in the video description to where I got my feeler gauge. But you also notice when I ran the probe calibrate, it moved the nozzle over to right where the BL touch is situated. So everything's looking good. Now, what I need to do is I have my macros installed that it gives me the controls to move things around here. Right now, we'll notice that the nozzle is above the bed. So I'm going to go ahead and use the negative one to move it down. And I'm going to keep going. And I think I have the nozzle right on the bed. And that actually feels pretty good. Now, as I mentioned, I'm using this feeler gauge, but you can just as easily use a piece of paper. Um, in fact, most people have a piece of paper, but it's the same process. You just put it under the nozzle and you just want it to grab some. Now, I think I want it a slight bit lower because I don't think I have enough resistance. I'm just going to hit the 0 0.005. Now, I'm going to go down a little more. I'm going to keep going down. Let's get down a little bit more. And I think that has the right amount of resistance. So if I'm happy with where it is, I'm just going to go ahead and hit accept here. And that will save it. If you don't have the extensions installed, where all the macros installed that I do, you can go ahead and use the test Z, Z equals and then put the number you want to use in millimeters. Negative numbers are move the head up, negative numbers move the head down. But you can just issue this command over and over again. I think it's pretty easy for me when I, I'm just using the macros. If I'm satisfied with everything, I'm just going to enter in the save config command. Back in main sales terminal, I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the save config command and go ahead and run it. That should save it to my printer.config file and restart everything. And then let's just go over and check the config file real quick. So if we scroll down to the BL touch section, then you'll notice it commented out where I had the Z offset set up here. And then down in the automatic config section, somewhere here, find it. Right down here is the new setting for the BL touch. Once you've run your save config command, now's the time to go ahead and go through and level your bed totally. But your Z offset should be set appropriately, but you do need to go through and do a bed level. 
In another video, I'll show you how to level the bed in Clipper. So that's it. That is configuring your Z offset as well as X and Y in Clipper. If you want to, I have the X and Y calculations are saved as part of my Clipper calibration spreadsheet. And I'll put the link to that in the video description. If you have any questions, please go ahead and post them in the comments as well. I try to get back with everybody. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a like. Feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas for future posts, let me know. Again, thanks for your time. Have a good day. Bye.